I am shook right now. I'm a fan. The transformation was actually insane. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Quality Reactions, where we're gonna listen to some more quality art. Today on the channel, we are revisiting Falling in Reverse. This time their song, I'm Not a Vampire. But hold on, wait, double feature. We're gonna do I'm Not a Vampire and I'm Not a Vampire Revamped. This was highly requested to do both at the same time, so we're doing it. Just a friendly reminder before we get started to like and subscribe. And with that being said, guys, strap in, cause we're doing this. So how did you end up in rehab? Tell me a little bit about it and you'll talk to me. Oh, really? Oh. Um, I'm in here, it was a little bit of a misunderstanding. I'm not an addict. I just came here looking for some friends. Okay, I gotta stop it. This is so different from the other Falling in Reverse that I've done. The vibes are very upbeat. Uh, it feels more pop punky vibes to me. Still got like that rock edge, but it is a lot more, uh, a, little more a lot more, yeah, up tempo. It feels a lot more playful. Um, I love the concept that they're in this reality rehab. And there's a bunch of different characters here. And it's cool that it's called I'm Not a Vampire. And the lyrics are more... Uh, so, well, I'm not a vampire, but I feel like one. Sometimes I sleep all day because I hate the sunlight. My hands are always shaking. Body's always aching. And, I and the dark is when I feed. Well, I can lure any woman that I want to in my bed with me. And whiskey seems to be my holy water. Mothers better lock your doors and hide your daughters. I'm insane. Well, I can feel it in my bones coursing through my veins. When did I become so cold? For goodness sake, where is my self-control? If home is where the heart is, then my heart has lost all hope. So it's kind of cool because it is making the comparison between vampires, like the sleeping all day, can't go in the sunlight, uh, the dark is when I feed, whiskey seems to be my holy water. It's making all these like fun comparisons. And it it really feels like obviously they're in a rehab facility. So it does blend to being more of a deeper song about the struggles, personal struggles of being an addict and all that entails and how that uh, the works its way into relationships and how you are with other people in your life, you know, like a vampire sucking the energy, the, the, the life out of somebody. Um, if home is where my heart is, then my heart has lost all hope. Oh man, that's, Ugh, you know, but the song itself, very like upbeat, very fun, uh, good times being had. Uh, it's been really different so far, which I'm, I'm digging. Uh, let's just go back and keep going.
Okay, well, I just that guitar solo was so cool. That was really fun. Um, also, just like it's really there's a lot more humor in this. Like I said, it was playful, but it is they're bringing in the humor, uh, even though the lyrics are quite, you know, could be very deep, very dark. It is a bit bringing with this like light playfulness to it and using humor, which is different again from the last video. Uh, and the last song that we listened to. So it's it's very fun to see this different, yeah, major pop punk vibes. Even the way they're dressed uh, is lending towards that. So I'm digging it. Let me go back. are cut from the same <laughs> paisley cloth, my friend. He's a rocker. I know. <laughs> Ronnie and I are pretty good friends. You know, we were cellies back in prison. I think Ronnie's kind of an asshole. He's a, he's a party animal. You've had a good time. You know that. <sighs> and you know something? God, when all the little babies come down the ramp, he stamps the ones that are, are his precious little special babies. And Ronnie's got the, the cleft. Oh, as soon as I saw that, that was it. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, what a weird way to end it. That was, I loved it. Um, I loved that. So, okay. I, I, the end of the lyrics were, hold on here. Um, well, I'm not a zombie, but I feel like one today, self-induced comatose chemical days. My head is always spinning from this dizzy, blurry vision and my stomach has long, has had long, What? And my stomach has had enough. I feel like a lady that is pregnant with a baby because I'm always throwing up. Hi, my name's Ronnie. I'm an addict. Daddy should have never raised me on Black Sabbath. I was like, thank God I've listened to Black Sabbath. <laughs> when, I got the, when I heard that, I was like, yes. Uh, I'm insane while I can feel it in my bones coursing through my veins. When did I become so cold? For goodness sake, where's my self-control? If home is where the heart is, then my heart has lost all hope. Yeah. So it definitely felt like yeah, that you're just you're you're never feeling good. Uh, where's your self control? Like you're you're just it's like a constant kind of spiraling cycle that you're in. And yeah, just like struggling with you know some very destructive behavioral patterns, perhaps um, mixed with the addiction. So that was, but that was like a very fun play on that on that song and on that message so now we're going to go into the revamped version so just give me a second here okay we're gonna do the revamped version now we're gonna see the new one so buckle up Very cinematic already. Titles. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay. I just have to stop it. I'm going to, I'm going to lose all my thoughts. Um, wow. This is way different vibes. This is definitely more like the other one that I listened to. The drug in you is reimagined. Um, the drug in you is reimagined. The drug in me is reimagined. I don't, you know what I mean though. You guys know. Um, yeah, this has more vibes like that for sure. It definitely feels grander. It definitely feels way more, obviously, it's more cinematic. There's this more uh, dark story being told. Uh, the emotion to the lyrics is a lot more connected in this one for me. It's definitely less playful and a little bit more true to what the underlying message of the song is for me uh, in performance and in the visuals. Uh very cool that he's like this lone vampire in this big mansion with this beautiful woman and it seems like it is kind of yeah the uh, a reflection of the personal struggles and uh, what your effect is on someone when you're struggling with that kind of stuff even just right before this when I paused the woman was like mopping up the blood and he was standing on the stairs watching her and it felt like you know another mess that she had to clean up that was his you know just like constantly taking care of this person being sucked into um the destruction is kind of what I was getting from it uh it's beautiful gorgeous I love the cinematography and yeah the connection here that Rodney has Rodney Ronnie I don't even know what where am I right now but <laughs> Ronnie Radke I believe <laughs> but Anyway, the connection that he has to the lyrics is so much more evident in this version for me, which I love. It's it's definitely drawing me in more. The other one was like very fun and playful. Don't get me wrong. Definitely um, had its place for sure. But this is kind of more my jam. I really like that it, 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 it just his vocals are selling the story for me. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, damn. Okay, wait. Is the woman in white a ghost? I felt like maybe she was in, there was two versions of her and she was kind of reliving what had happened between them. And and so the all white version was the ghost of the woman. Maybe I am totally freaking wrong about this. I don't know. Like you guys will probably let me know in the comments. <laughs> like that is so wrong. But that's how it felt to me. And that she was like stuck there reliving this, this uh situation that they were in and that the other version of her had tried to leave and then she came back and then he killed her 
and then he ran to that cliff and he's like in anguish and just you know the um god bless all of you now because i'm going straight to hell and i'm taking you down with me because you know damn well so it's kind of like yeah i'm i'm like i'm out of control i can't get my shit together but i'm taking you with me because i'm on this destructive path and i can't stop and everybody around me that i uh, care about is being affected by this and damn that was good that's really fun visualization for that part for me and if she is a ghost cool and if she's not you guys will let me know but anyway that's what i just got from that part so i was digging it i'm gonna go back Sharpen my teeth Cause I love the way it feels When I sink into your skin And draw the only thing that's real You don't believe me Should I write it in blood? You better try that fucking steak right now My shook right now that was so fun that was such a fun cinematic experience I love that what a performance he has this really cool way of mixing the screaming with like obviously he, it's, it's very controlled it's a very technical thing but he has such a good way of using it at just the right part that really sells the story and then he can slip back into his regular vocals which proves that it's like very well technically done in his voice and he's not screwing up his voice but that was so powerful um yeah I just wow okay first of all that was so cool with the choir that came in the, the that group of people I love that he must have worked with some kind of like orchestra because like the the symphony going on behind him was incredible you guys know that I love the strings you guys know that I love an orchestra so that was amazing um and then he ended up going back to turn her to like bring her back to life to try and save her and then it was like a bunch of people coming to to kill him, to get him. And then they tied him up outside so that he would die in the sunlight. And then she exposed herself to the sunlight too. It's like she didn't want to – she couldn't live without him or she didn't want to be alive without him. Or uh, it was just another way of sucking her into his destruction. So many different ways it could go. That was so much fun. I'm so glad. I know that this video is a thousand years long and I'm so sorry. But I'm so glad that I was able to do both of those back to back because you guys are right that – the transformation was actually insane. Um, you know what? I love. I, I would have listened to Falling in Reverse, the the other version, because um, it's fun and upbeat, and it doesn't make you think about the lyrics too much, even when the message is quite, you know, could be quite deep and quite meaningful. Especially, I assume, to him and his own personal uh, journey. But this version is way more up my alley. Uh, I loved it. I thought. Man, the just everything about it, the performance, the visuals, 
uh, so cool how he turned the same lyrics into something completely different. And yeah, guys, I'm a fan. I am a fan. <laughs> that was so fun. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thanks, guys. I could talk about this video for uh, forever. Okay, I could just keep going, but I won't. I will mm, zip it. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you like this reaction, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you know when more is coming your way. As always, I will link my Twitch in the info section below if you want to come over there and hang out with me when I'm live. But wowzers, that was it for today. So we're going to leave it there and I'll see you guys in the next one. <gasps> Peace.